Hey everyone, we are here at Disneyland. It's loud. It's loud. Is it just Disneyland? It's not like Disneyland. LA or anything? No, it's the original, so why would they change it? Oh. Anyway. I guess I'm just used to like Disneyland Paris, Tokyo Disney. But yeah, this is Disneyland. This is the original, the OG. It's our but first time here. Wait, that that mountain is bigger than the castle. <laughs> Wait, you can see the mountain from in the castle at the same time. That's kind of weird. Matterhorn Castle. Matterhorn Castle. I guess it's like a hub where like it's fine. Everything is visible. Yeah, but Disney World is just bigger. So like it's spread out so you like get more immersed. Anyway, we have one day at both parks, DCA and Disneyland. Yeah, we gotta do big. Yeah, all the stuff that's not anywhere else that we want to do, and also some things that are other places that we just haven't done yet. Yeah, I'm excited. I want food. Food. I want to eat. That Ronto wrap for the morning. There's eggs in it. Is it good? Got my morning meat. Do you like the peppercorn sauce? Did you get to it yet? The sauce is the best part. Mm -hmm. I think the normal one's better. Oh, yeah? Mm. That was really good. I'm happy. Yay. Mm. What I want the hot heat is milk. I already had this one. I know I don't like it. I haven't had this though. So in Florida, they do it with alcohol because there's no rules there. But here they had to do like little swirl things. And it looks like there's like mango and then like tahini or something. Like it looks like tahini. I'm gonna try this one again. I will say it's better than with the alcohol. Like the alcohol, I think was a mistake. I think this one in Florida would get like rum, and then this one would get tequila. Okay, I'm excited for this though. I like tahini and the said mango added to it, right? Mmm, there's chewy stuff in there. Oh, really? Mmm. -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like this one. Mm -hmm. Nah, this still tastes good. Oh my god, I think I'll actually drink all of this. Nice. I don't know if I would like it without the spice though. I have a great freeze. Okay. Oh, it's good. Oh my god, okay. It is gross. Like it looks gross? No, the flavor. No, it's good. It's like creamy. Kind of fruity. Okay, try the other one. That's a lot more going on. Milk is actually really refreshing. I wouldn't say refreshing is the right word, but it was good. It was ice cold. It wasn't as milky as I was expecting. It wasn't like as thick, really. Okay, in the in Florida, it was super thick. It was like really? nasty. This was really icy, actually. It's still icy. It's got a little crunch to it. Okay. A little crunch. <laughs> yeah, it was like gloopy there. Oh, gloopy? It was so gross. Oh. It was like eating a phlegm. Oh, gross. Yeah, that wasn't this experience at all. It was a little chewy. At the end of it, when the ice was all gone, it was just kind of like a loose milkshake consistency. Okay, so. Wait, show them. There's droids. Okay. We had a very beautiful morning in Galaxy's Edge. We started it with Smuggler's Run, which was my first time, I wasn't playing it, but riding it. And then you're a second time, right? Third. Wow, third. We were pilots. I was left, right. Justin was up, down. I believe the lady whose family was there. And I didn't really go. <laughs> I was like, oh. It's his first time. Can we, is it okay if we do pilots? And she's like, okay. But I think they're locals. Like, if you're locals, like, come on. Yeah. I think it went really well. 
the the left right was a lot more sensitive than I was expecting at first. So I was yeah, you nervous. were really bad. I was like, ooh, ooh. So that was um, a little embarrassing to start. Yeah. But I got the hang of it, I think. We got two cargo things and didn't explode, so. I give you a bit on it, you know, there's like an effect at the end that we didn't get, which is like super fun. So that sucks, but. And then, um, you want to talk about Rise? Yeah, first Rise was down. So we left, we came back, um, and it was just went back up. So we ran into line and we were right, 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 right in front of the ride, basically. Right before the first pre-show. Yeah. It went down again uh -huh. for like an hour, I think. Mm. But at that was point, it down for an hour. We were waiting that long. Yeah, it didn't it went feel down that at long. one. We were at two. But the thing is, like, we were already waiting for half an hour, so we really only waited in air conditioning for half an hour. So it was fine. It was in air conditioning, and I was getting like really fatigued from the heat. So it's really nice to actually sit in air conditioning for a while. I'm ready to be out in the heat. Like the heat actually feels good to me still. So I think it's like a good thing. That's true. It was getting quite cold. I'm glad I had this outer layer. Yeah. Strangely. It was crazy though. The ride? Yeah, it was worth the wait. I would have waited an hour for it. Yeah, it was it so was worth nice. It. it was amazing. Because there was like the first part, then like suddenly you're transported somewhere else, and then there's all these other staff members being less nice to you, but still not mean. And then it was like a whole thing, and it felt really immersive. One thing that you said was like afterwards, and then walking through Galaxy's Edge again, it like created a more immersive experience for you, and then that's, I totally get that. Yeah, yeah, good point. So when we first came into Galaxy's Edge, like it just, I don't know if it's because Disneyland is so small in general, or, or like compact, really. Yeah. But it didn't feel like I was in a different planet. It just felt like I was in a theme park still. But then coming out of the Rise of the Resistance ride and going like back into Galaxy's Edge area, it felt like, oh yeah, I'm here in this other world. That was really cool. Mm -hmm. Also, I whipped Heidi Chewy earlier, so that was cool. I do still think that Walt Disney World's Galaxy's Edge is a lot better. Yeah. When it comes to like the scale. Because mm. there's also just more space. Is that Darth Vader? No, it's Kylo Ren. Is that Darth, Darth Vader. Vader? Who are you? I think I'm ready to head over to California Adventure though. California Adventure. I'm not sure what the accent was. Disneyland Classic. Hand dipped corn dog. Have at it. Yeah, I'm excited. This is like one of the things that you're supposed to have here. That and then like, I guess chili or something. I don't know. Okay. Mm. Oh my God. When we go back to Sweden with our five boxes of Jiffy, we're doing corn dogs one day. <laughs> It's hot, by the way. Mmm. It's good, right? That's thick. Yeah. The breading. Yeah, but it's nice. It's really good. The mustard is to corn bread. Oh god, <laughs> the mustard. Cornbread person, so like this is mmm. I like that the outside's super crispy. Yeah. Look at the corn. This corn? Oh my god, I want one. Also, I just need to put on camera that the Little Mermaid ride was a life-affirming experience. 10 out of 10. I would say they really glossed over Ursula's struggle. All of a sudden it was just over. Other than that, it was great.
That's lemonade, berry, and cherry. It's fine. That's good. Yeah, I need it. Super, super sweet, though. What's in the pipette? Grenadine. Grenadine. It's nice that you get a bit of a puree, so it's not just like... Oh, I paid for lemonade. I'll do a little bit of this. It's a fancy lemonade. Let's see if it even tastes different. Oh yeah! You can taste the grenadine a little. It's nice. I'm starting to like cherry. I just wanted a pretzel because I love pretzels. It's just a huge pretzel. It's so big. But we have a plastic bag we can like close it. Yeah. <laughs> you don't think we're gonna finish this? Do you think we're gonna finish this? And it comes with beer cheese. Yum. <laughs> it's good. Yep. Just a giant pretzel. It's a giant pretzel. <laughs> Oh yeah, I like how big it is. Like, thick. Very good. Yeah. They're seasoned nicely. Ooh. Oh yeah, tear tots don't, don't exist in Sweden. I've missed this. It's simple, but it's good. This looks so messy. Oh, you know what? This breading reminds me of the chicken strips that we had at my high school. So my high school had two different types of chicken strips. One were like the typical kind that look kind of like fried chicken, and then the other kind looked like this, where they're like, it's like panko crusted, but then those are super, not super, but those were spicy. Mm. I lose the texture, not the flavor. No. But it's good. This chicken breast was a little dry. And like it's sitting under a heat lamp, but like whatever. This wasn't made to order. This wasn't hand shrunk for you. This wasn't shrunk to order. Or wait, hand grown. Wait, what's the opposite of shrunk? Hand blown up. Blown up. Expanded. Hand expanded. Giantized. Just a bite of my sandwich. What do you think? It's nice if you're watching your carbs. This is from the Skinny Licious menu. Okay. Yeah, the, the chicken's dry for sure, so the sauce is mandatory. Mm -hmm. What are you, Swedish? Mm hmm, actually, yeah. Wait, hold on. What? Um, You're cutting out. Is oh. that like a honey mustard? Wait, hold on. Huh? What? You're cutting out. Like a honey mustard and then a sriracha mayo. So, wait, yeah. They're both different, but really good together. Okay. It's a fun experience. Final thoughts on this food. The pretzel has way too much salt. Yeah. But you could just easily knock it off, it's fine. Right. The breading on that- The breading, you mean the bread? Yeah. The bread part of the sandwich. Yeah, it was like stale. But the tater tots? I mean, the tater tots were great. I would just get more of those. The drink was really good. Oh, yeah. The cherry boba was even like not too cherry, so it was good. Radiator spring racers, right? The car is right. That ride was incredible. We did the, what is it, the individual attraction credit because, you know, we're only here for one day. It was worth it. The line for that was crazy. It was like almost two hours and I would not wait two hours for that ride. But it was good. It was good. It was a really good ride. Of course, it was like the whole like super giant slot car derby type of ride, like test track at Epcot. But then the way that they did it, there was a lot of elements that they had in test track, like the fake out with the truck and whatever, and that was cool. One of the effects where they like do something to the car, it wasn't working right, but you still got to feel like the car lifting up, which I thought was cool. I had no idea it did that. The racing part was fun. I yeah. And we won. Oh yeah, we did win. So there's that. Okay, it's, there's no way that it's isolating our voice. The people in front of us, it was three old people who sat in the same car as us, but in front of us. They did not know how to do seatbelts. No. And I don't think it's because, like, they didn't speak English. Because she was showing the action, they just weren't doing it. They were just confused generally. And she was like, pull on it, pull on it, pull on the yellow tab, pull on the yellow tab, on your seatbelt, your seatbelt, 
on your seatbelt, there's a yellow tab. Pull on it. Pull on it. Pull on the yellow tab on your seat. No, they did pull not on it. it. <laughs> they did not get it. But and you I'm know like, what? They loved the ride. They did. <laughs> and then it was time for them to get out and they didn't want to. They just kept sitting there after we got out. And they were like, Huh? I don't want to go. It's the best. Same. Okay. We're waiting for the parade, the electrical light yeah. parade or whatever it is. But I wanted to talk about Mr. Toad's wild ride. Mm -hmm. So you're a British frog. That yeah, you're British because the car, the driver is on the right, and like and there's constable. What's a constable? I don't know. And then the police chase you. A cab. Which that was a nightmare. And then you get drunk. I don't even think you actually get drunk. Do you you go, go to a bar. I know you go to a bar, but do you actually get drunk? You drive through a bar. I guess you don't get drunk explicitly. Oh, then... <laughs> ah. And then you get sentenced to jail and then you go to hell. That's because on the way to jail. You hit by a car because you oh, drive yourself to jail or something. So you die and go to hell. I guess. In this, yeah. In this Disney ride. Sure. It was incredible. It was my favorite as a kid. It's <laughs> the entire time I was like, "What is going on? What is going on? Oh my god, we're in hell now!" And then it's just over. Oh, but can we talk about how we walked past the Indiana Jones ride and I was checking the app and it said it was closed and I saw people heading on. I was like, "Hold on." This one really means something. And it meant that it was a walk-on. Yeah, so Justin just like walked into the line and I was like, okay, I'll follow. Oops. Indiana Jones and the Temple of the Forbidden Eye. The ride took as long as us getting to the ride. And the ride was fantastic. Although there were a number of parts that were just in complete pitch black and I wasn't sure if that was on purpose. I don't think it was. Yeah, I think some parts were like not working. They're just down. But I think that's what they do. They just like shut down parts of rides so that they can keep them going. Mm. Like with Rise of the Resistance, one of the effects with like the gun turrets, that effect was down. Because mm. like instead you just go forward, then you just go back a little bit, and then you go forward again. I don't exactly know why. Yeah, it's just kind of like, oh, that's But weird. like I'd rather it work than it not work, you know? Like I'd rather the, the whole ride be operating. Yeah. That was good. I really liked it. Now I'm ready for this parade. Hopefully I feel some wave of nostalgia or something. Electric Light Parade, 50th yeah. anniversary. Back at the hotel, but before um, we pass out from jet lag and exhaustion from walking over 25,000 steps today, thank you Pikmin Bloom for telling me that, um, I wanted to show the souvenirs that we got. Drink containers from giant companies. But so is Disney. Yeah, I don't know, I think it's cool, look at it. It's like it's bright, but it's not. And then this is, this is Coke, but it's not they would be displayed. Anyway, 
Um, gonna pass out. Thanks for coming along today. It was super fun, super tiring. Join us next time. Until then, thank you for watching. Bye!